This is how I was looking first thing this morning when I weighed myself with no meals or fluids in my system and obviously no pump as I just woken up at this point. Coming in at 81.4 kg, which is the kind of weight I've been floating around in the first week of this lean bulk, which is a similar weight to the end of the cup. So here are the supplements I'm currently taking on a daily basis. I have two squares of the 100% dark chocolate first thing in the morning alongside one multivitamin and an omega-3 fish oil along with some electrolytes mixed into my water and then I'll have three omega-3 fish oils throughout the day, one with each of my meals. First up I've got some scrambled eggs. Then I've got some beef with veggies and baked potatoes. Then I've got some bulk elevate pre-workout powder with some electrolyte powder. Then I treated myself to a cheeky little grenade protein bar. I kicked off my chest and triceps session with some flat barbell bench press. For my first set, I had 75 kilos on the bar and managed to get six reps, which was a one rep improvement in that set from my last session. Then on my second set, I dropped the weight down to 70 kilos and managed to get 10 reps, which was a three rep improvement on my last session, which is a kind of crazy improvement to see. And therefore, I'll be upping the weight in my next session to 72 and a half kilos for that second set. Then I moved over to the incline dumbbell bench press. Not the best camera angle here, unfortunately, but you can still see the set in motion. I was using the 30 kilo dumbbells for my first set where I managed to get six reps. Then I dropped down the weight to 27 and a half kilo dumbbells for my second set where I managed eight reps. First set being a one rep improvement on my last session. Then I moved over to dips to kind of finish off my triceps for the session. I had two and a half kilos strapped to my waist here and managed to get eight reps which is an improvement on last session where I managed nine reps with just my body weight. And this is my first time doing weighted dips. So it felt really good to finally add some weight to these. I probably am gonna stick at this weight for a little while longer though, as I wanna get closer to that eight to 12 rep range as I'm already using the five to eight rep range on my other chest exercises. Anyway, you can pause the video here if you wanna check out my sets, reps and weights lifted throughout the session, if you're interested in that. Then for my post-workout meal, I've got some Greek yogurt with creatine, protein powder, fruit, and nuts. Then to finish up my eating for the day, I've got some chicken breast with veggies and sweet potatoes. And that concludes another day of this lean bulk. I'll put my calories and macros on screen for you. Once again, I managed to stick to my 3000 calorie target. Unfortunately, as you saw, I didn't have avocado with my breakfast because we ran out of ripened ones at home. So had to forego those today and instead ended up getting a protein bar at work to make up the extra calories, obviously resulting in an unnecessary amount of protein consumed, but it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. And ultimately when I do get that avocado in, my macros look much better. Really solid chest and tricep session today. Really happy to see some significant improvement on my last session, which was just three days ago. So just goes to show that I think this compound movements four day, well, technically a seven day split is really working where I'm training my upper body muscles twice for every time I train legs. So I do chest and triceps, back and biceps, shoulders, repeat that again and then train legs and then start back at chest again. I think that's working at the moment. Obviously we're going to continue with that and adjust if need be later down the line, throwing in extra rest days if I'm struggling to recover. But at the moment I was very pleasantly surprised with how well I recovered considering I trained shoulders yesterday. So I was expecting the fatigue in my front delts to kind of limit my ability on the bench press movements much more than it did. So overall, very happy with the outcome there. Tomorrow is going to be a back and bicep session. So hopefully I will see you there for it. Cheers.